This is the best time since 2008 to be in crypto. Bitcoin soared to its new all-time high, then dipped. Now people of course are wondering, is the bull run over before it even started? But what they don't know is, this is just the beginning. Any dip might be your best chance to get back in before the real bull run returns stronger than ever. Some coins will shoot up 10, 20, even 100x, meaning if you put $10,000 into the right altcoin, you'd come out with a million bucks. Imagine having the kind of financial freedom most people only dream of. Hot tubs, jet skis, women. Women on jet skis and hot tubs. Seriously though, if the rising cost of living and suffocating rent prices is grinding you down, this is your chance. If you act today and you get in as early as possible, giving you an advantage over everyone else, because this bull run isn't gonna last forever. And once this run ends, it may be the last chance to see these gains again. We already have ETFs and looming regulations looking to change the face of the crypto market forever. Today, I'm gonna be diving into first, why the bull run is only just getting started. If you wanna make money, your strategy depends on the bull run continuing. So you need to know what's driving it. What are the underlying mechanisms at work here? Number two, the beginner strategy that absolutely everyone should use, as well as the three tools that keep you safe from scams. And number three, of course, I'll run through the best research backed coins that I've ever uncovered. There's tons of names here. I'm absolutely looking forward to telling you about all the research that I've done here. I'm gonna give you the data on why I think they'll pop off during this bull run and even more tools to help you fine tune your own research. And number five, I'll finish off with the most important part of them all, my 10 step crypto process that you can use moving forward to find these gems yourself. Now, full disclosure, it's my job to trade crypto and research these investments. I post all of my buys, sells, and shorts. That way everyone can follow along and make the exact same plays that I make, win or lose. I show you what I'm doing and when and why. For example, just a little while back, I bought Ergo for $1.19, immediately notifying the Finova Patreon community about that trade. Then, less than a month later, the price hit $2.17. That's when we all sold for an 82% profit. I told the community step-by-step step when to enter and when to exit and take those profits. I did the exact same thing with this 30% gain on Coinbase stock and this 300% gain on Nucor. Those trades and those profits would have been yours if you were a member of our Patreon. So. What are you waiting for? We finally have spots open again, so go ahead and join in the description below. What's happening with this bull run? Is it over? Has it even begun? What is going on here? Bitcoin recently soared to those all-time highs, then dipped, surged, dipped again. It's been all over the place. So why is this chaos happening? There's a few obvious reasons, but there, some of these are totally overblown. So you need to know what actually matters. So first, the Fed announced that it's keeping interest rates between 5.25 and 5.5%, which historically that's quite high, except for like the 70s. Then if, if you were in the 70s, you'd be like, I wish I had 5% interest rates, but things change. This is big though, because interest rates have a huge influence on investors, typically lower interest interest rates help stimulate the economy and the stock market, which would suggest the interest rates today are kind of a bad sign for any of those public investments. You'll hear a lot about people talking about interest rates because it truly is important. What people do forget though, is crypto is a different beast. It kind of has unpredictable rules. In 2020, when the world was shut indoors, banks slashed interest rates to get the economy moving again. Combine that with the fears about inflation and the lack of the faith in just the entire world system, this helped fuel the crypto boom. But interest rates have been rising ever since then. And so has Bitcoin, You know, despite some stumbles along the way. But why? The reason for this is that Bitcoin doesn't react exactly like the stock market. It has its own energy, which I believe is massively influenced by people's lack of faith in the system. Meme coins are an even stronger identification of that, which I'll explain a little bit later, because the more the economy stumbles or becomes uncertain, the more people look for a hedge against that uncertainty. Crypto is that hedge. The more we get into the uncertainty of the oncoming political election, the uncertainty of where rent prices are gonna go, where the dollar is going to go, the more appealing that hedge in crypto is going to become. Combine that with this becoming mainstream and all these institutions getting into crypto, there is gonna be a whole lot of money flowing into crypto, but that's not all. This current bull run kicked off before Bitcoin's halving, which is huge. In the past, Bitcoin's halving has had a massive effect on price, shooting it up. Media speculation, hype, anticipation from the crypto community all build that price up. Then post halving, it tends to explode even further, reaching new highs. Just look at any cyclical chart 
chart over, you know, since 2008, basically, you'll see this trend happening again and again. Rect Capital calls this the five phases of the Bitcoin halving. First, it's the pre-halving downside. Then it's the pre-halving rally. Then it's the pre-halving retrace. These first three, they're a mix of volatile ups and downs as that halving date approaches. Everything seems to be targeted around that date. And then number four, we have the reaccumulation. Post halving, the price reaccumulates and approaches the resistance line. Number five, we have the parabolic uptrend. That's when the price absolutely explodes. Bitcoin breaks out, goes to the moon, does it extremely fast and increases that price action for everything. And that said, well, this all sounds pretty good. Nobody can 100% predict Bitcoin price behavior. And I should say there's a caveat here because there are some mathematical factors as to why the price surges after the Bitcoin halving. And it's just simple supply and demand. If the supply of Bitcoin literally cuts in half and the demand remains the same, if you know a supply and demand function, the only place the price can go is up. So there's a mathematical reason why this happens, but you can never be 100% certain. That's my point here. So take this all with a grain of salt. But it does seem that when you look at the available evidence having does have a large impact to the entire crypto market. So while some are thinking the price could continue to dip down with an impact on altcoins as well, I haven't sold any of my Bitcoin position and I haven't really sold many of my altcoins except for just trades, but I'm not massively worried about this. I think the odds are we see that surge post having. We could say that the bull run hasn't even started yet, that we're all early, even though we feel late right now. And that's not it. There's more going on in the market. For example, look at ETH. It has a close relationship with Bitcoin's price. As you can see, although there's some divergence, the two currencies, they're pretty closely tied with ETH, you know, tending to lag about a week behind. Where this becomes interesting, though, is the effect that this eventually has on smaller tokens like layer twos and altcoins. This is where you find the 10, 20, 100x opportunities. When Bitcoin and or ETH pumps, the altcoin market responds. I'm sure you've seen screenshots of people on X, you know, making millions of dollars from meme coins, but believe it or not, we're not even in altcoin season yet. But through history, when Bitcoin and ETH have large price increases, an altcoin season does follow, although with a significant lag. Now, remember what I said, the real bull run where Bitcoin pumps may not even have truly started yet. We saw a little bump, but there's massive gains coming. It's not over yet. So if you're looking for huge gains on altcoins, it means you're still early and the time to strike is now. The time to research is now, but you do need a strategy. Crypto, even in a bull market, carries an insane amount of risk. You need to understand that. You can make 10, 100, some people make a thousand X on their money, but you need a strategy. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up as someone else's exit liquidity. You don't wanna be someone else's profits. Make your own profits. The first thing you have to understand is that to make a lot of money, a coin has to have a potential to grow. A lot of people don't understand this. There are a lot of factors at play in this, underlying ideas, financial backing, technology, but maybe the most important is the good old simple market cap. Market cap is the total value of a specific cryptocurrency. And to derive the market cap, all you have to do is take the total number of coins multiplied by the price. That's it. If a coin is too high in market cap, it's unlikely to draw on enough money to gain that 100X that you're looking for, simply because it's already dominating too much of the market. Its market share is too large to 100X. That's why Bitcoin isn't gonna 100X anytime soon. But if the market cap of a project is relatively small, you've got plenty of room to grow and ride a big pump upwards. It sounds obvious, but countless investors seem to forget this. Don't chase profits on a coin where it's simply mathematically not going to happen. So you got to find the right coin. That said, medium market cap coins can be an interesting midway play. They offer smaller growth opportunities than those micro caps, but still enough to be enticing. Plus, there's some added safety that typically the team is better with these medium cap coins. There's less rug pull risk, and usually there's some kind of legitimate use case that you can get behind and go like, all right, this is a company who's actually doing something. If you're looking at making a decent return in the short term, you'll wanna look at that small to medium market cap range of coins. I prefer more on the medium side personally, but remember, do your homework and be safe. While you're looking at the market cap, use tools to double check any coin that you're interested in. Make sure that it's not a scam, like that is step one. I cannot tell you the number of times someone has messaged me saying, hey, you need to look into this coin. I think it's gonna just take off. You need to check this out. You should invest, you should talk about this in a video, whatever. And then I go on the website and I'm like, this is a scam. This is so obviously a scam. You could do a five minute Google search and you could tell that this is a total scam. Don't let that be you. You don't need to be a tokenomics 
expert to, to make a good return. But you do need to familiarize yourself with the arena if you're gonna put your hard-earned money here. So you need some critical thinking skills to be able to question what is being promoted to you. Don't just believe anything, question everything, including me, question everything I say. That's just critical thinking. You need to take the time to do background checks. I have a totally free crypto scam checklist PDF that's linked in the description. I recommend grabbing that anytime you're looking at a new coin, just pull up this PDF, check the boxes, make sure you can verify that it's not a scam. Beyond that, there's some other helpful tools that you can use. Dex tools, this is one that you can use to check to see if a token is being bought and sold normally. This is really interesting. Or if someone is artificially pumping the price. You can go into the history and see if there's a single wallet who's just manipulating the price. Obviously, you don't wanna be a part of that. Unicrypt, this is another tool that you can use to dig into a product's liquidity. If the initial liquidity is locked, this is a good sign. It helps prevent rug pulls. D.Fi, their scanner tool is really helpful. They can help Help you see if a project's smart contract is actually secure. And this, of course, protects you from leaky, exploitable contracts that put you and your money and your wallet in danger. Something a lot of people don't think about is some blockchains are simply more exploitable than others. For example, a product built on Ethereum is more susceptible to hacks than a product built on the SUI blockchain, for example. This is because about seven out of the 10 ways people hack Ethereum projects are impossible to even do on the SUI blockchain. So there are a lot of things to consider. And this is a topic that you can go infinitely deep on if you want to. But these tools and that checklist will give you the basic fundamentals to remember. You'll be in the top 1% in terms of verifying all this stuff if you just do those basics. Always check your market cap for growth and then just make sure you're not buying a scam. It's that simple. I'm gonna dig into a bunch more things to look for as well as giving specific coin examples that I think are just going to pop off during this bull run. But for now, that's an absolutely good start. Now, another extremely important point is you wanna have control over what you do with your money. The goal here is to make a big win and to actually make money. But I've seen countless guys make a big win on a coin only to immediately reinvest on a hyped up coin and then lose all of their profit. As if it never happened. As if that big win literally just disappeared. There's something strange about crypto gains psychologically. Like they don't quite feel like real money. You know, you get that 10X gain and you're like, oh, that's cool, that's awesome. But it doesn't feel like money. It feels like you're trading Kohl's cash or something. Remember, this is real money that can really change your life. Don't listen to the people who try to shame others for not taking profits, especially not taking those profits completely out of the crypto ecosystem. If you have bills to pay, go pay those bills. Don't be a total degenerate. Don't listen to the people who are saying like, no, you should never take profits. That means you're not a true crypto whatever. Take profits, pay your bills, make your life better. There are a million strategies when it comes to taking profits, but here's just a real simple one. If you make a big win on a coin, take 30, 40% of it, cash out, stick it in your bank. Keep that money safe, secure, make that part of your nest egg. It's that simple. As for the other 60, 70%, Stay put, breathe, relax, wait, trade it if you need to trade it, like to get out. Just don't get high on your own supply. Don't jump into the next popular thing. Take your time, do your due diligence, and only invest in a project if you're legitimately confident in it. Now let's look at a few key coins that I've been researching for this bull run. I'm gonna categorize these loosely by the narrative that they fall into, such as AI or gaming, also meme coins. I'm also gonna explain why I think these coins could draw in a lot of investment moving through the bull run, which is extremely important and you'll know why by the end of this. But first, look at these. Matus is an interesting one. It had a big rally at the tail end of 2023 from $12 up to $84. And this isn't the first time that it's had a pump like this. As you can see, back in January 2022, it pumped at $304. Can this happen again? I'm not sure exactly, but the project itself might be a little bit undervalued right now given its value prop. It's got a solid idea behind it providing a useful layer two scaling solution that's partnered with a decent amount of heavy hitting projects. In a bull run, this is gonna be attractive to investors looking to dump their money into a surefire thing that has some solid tech behind it. Here's a rule that I love to keep in mind. At the current state of crypto, so much of this market is pure psychology and pure foresight to predict what other investors are going to do in the future. So you should ask yourself, when investors are in a bull run frenzy in the future. Will this coin that I'm looking at appear to be a surefire thing? If yes, you should get in that ahead of the crowd. If yes, there's some major gains to be made. The key here though is appear. Does it appear that investors will pile in. Notice and analyze the coins through a bull run investor's eyes, through their brain. Put yourself in that place. Everyone you know is making all these profits. Where are you gonna go? 
get there ahead of time. Kind of think of yourself like a deer hunter. You scout out fertile grazing ground where a deer would likely hang out in the future. Or maybe you've seen them there before. Then you take your position and you wait patiently for the party to come to you. Matus is a $540 million market cap, so it's got plenty of room to grow. After all, the crypto market is 2.6 trillion. Keep that in mind before you get too intimidated by a number in the hundreds of millions. There's room to grow, and the whole market cap is expanding as well. Now, I briefly mentioned why I like the SUI blockchain, but I just told you one reason so far. This is one of my recent favorites. Another one, it's right there in the name. SUI blockchain, blockchain. It's a layer one blockchain, which means it potentially has massive room to grow if they can attract developers, if they can attract investors, and if the thing is easy to use. It has an interesting price history. It essentially spent all of 2023 in the red before climbing out at the beginning of the year, and it's since clawed its way back to $1.88. Not a huge price, kind of undervalued if you ask me. This is one I think could be a great opportunity though, and here's why. It's tied to a whole bunch of reputable projects and companies. It has an active and loud community but most of all, the tech itself has proven to be workable enough that it's a viable blockchain. If investors are jumping into a bull market, looking to diversify their crypto holdings into the next new big blockchain, this is a fresh blockchain. This is where they're going to look. With some high quality tech, it's a solid target. Its market cap is sitting around 2.3 billion. While that makes it more of a mid cap coin, it's still early enough for a platform like this. If investors are looking for a popular new blockchain to jump on, this would be my bet. Even if you're looking to develop your own project on a blockchain, this might be one to consider because it's actually fairly easy to code on. Moving on to narratives though, there are a few that I'm looking at. As I said before, if the narrative isn't there, then the project is much less likely to take off. We, as humans, love a good story. We love to be able to categorize things simply. We like to be able to say, that person is this, this company is this. So if we can easily take a crypto project and place it in an exciting category that just makes sense, the odds that that crypto does well is extremely high. AI is one of those obvious narratives that everyone can just kind of get behind. We get it, especially now with like ChatGPT coming out, we're like, okay, AI is gonna be a big thing. AI is increasingly looking like a safe bet for a 2024 bull run narrative. The reason why is so simple. It's already shown its potency in the stock market, pumping Nvidia to massive all time highs. So what do you think? Will the same AI narrative pop off in crypto? If your answer is yes, then you wanna be ready with early investments into AI altcoins. Again, be the hunter just ready in the fertile ground. Be ready, educated, and waiting. BitTensor is a project that I'm a big fan of within the AI crypto narrative. BitTensor, it's likely to be one of the first places that investment will drop during a bull run. It's currently sitting at 650 bucks per coin and a $4.1 billion market cap. Now this seems a little bit daunting if you're looking to you know, 10X your money, but let's just, let's just pull it back a second. Let's just take a chill pill for a second. If you're jumping into the market, and you're looking for robust AI projects. Picture yourself, you're a brand new crypto investor jumping in the market looking for AI projects. This is extremely attractive. It has 10X since late 2023. So you see that price chart just boop, 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 boop. It has an interesting topical use case with decentralized machine learning. They're trying to decentralize AI. And it's even got fairly stable community. It's got good tech and its existing price action reflects all of this excitement. This is actually a coin that I bought a while back and posted my Patreon. We got in, the price jumped 78% in less than a month and we all took profits. Again, all those trades are available real time, link in the description. Now I'm setting my eye on Tau for another entry point. It's been doing a lot of bouncing around 650 bucks, but this still feels a little bit undervalued compared to the potential of this project. I think the potential is absolutely insane if they pull off what their goals are. And this is one of those projects where I hope they pull off their goals because it would just be good for humanity. But if you make profits on this, I would lean towards taking them quickly as I suspect everyone else will too during this next bull run. I'll be going into my 10 step process at the end of this video for finding gems yourself. But for now, just be ready to take what you can get and don't get too greedy once those profits start racking up. Next up is Render which coincidentally is the nickname I have for my cat. That's not why I like the project, that's just a coincidence. Render recently hit its all-time high in price, 
before correcting down a bit as of the recording of this video. For longtime holders, this was a gain of over 28,000%. No one's complaining about that. On paper, it might look like it's light. You gotta remember here, we're still in the pre-bull market. There's a lot of money about to flood in. These people will be looking for AI cryptos to jump on. Put yourself in the shoes of a totally new investor, highly interested in the AI market and you see a price chart like this, that's pretty exciting. Render is going to be a convincing pick, but there's even more. Their website is narrative fuel, fully transparent team, great press, and practical use cases. There's a ton to like here, especially the team. If you're a bull run investor flicking through a site like this, you're gonna feel trust. You're gonna wanna jump in. It's an easy project to believe in. Market caps here, sitting around $4.2 billion. As far as mid caps go, this is one of my more solid picks. Of course, don't expect 10x gains here, but you can expect some good returns once those bull run investors pop in. I still think it's early if you act now. Fetch.ai. Fetch started going to the moon in February, shooting up over $3, then down around like $2.67. I'm 50-50 on this one for a few reasons. It's already had a crazy rally, which tempts me to think that, you know, maybe the fun has already been had, but it's also pretty good bull run bait. Take a look at the use case behind it. It gives users AI agents that will execute all kinds of tasks for them. When people think of AI and how it's gonna take over, this is the kind of thing that they're thinking of, you know, like an AI robot that just like does all your work for you, uh, maybe like an AI girlfriend who does all other kinds of work for you. It taps into the core idea though at the heart of the AI narrative. Like sure, there's no killer robots yet, but it's a use case that people can believe in and will be drawn to. Basically, if there are killer robots coming, you wanna be on the team who owns them, right? So back to the price. Fetch, it had its time in the sun, Maybe. But during a bull run, this could be your wild card pick to see a crazy pump. It's a $2.2 billion market cap right now, but if the hype bandwagon jumps on this narrative, it could get a lot bigger very fast. So be ready to take profits on this one. Flux. Flux is rapidly becoming a major project to watch. It's currently sitting at around $1.42. Of course, that could be all over the place by the time you see this. Down from its all-time high, though, of nearly three bucks. But if you pull back, you can see the legs that Flux has. It's a project that's waiting to pop off. It's solid, ambitious, and it has big name partners like NVIDIA behind it. They actually promise a cloud solution that's cheaper than Amazon's AWS, which if they can bring that to reality, this would be massive. Whether you believe they can deliver on that narrative right now, it's fairly irrelevant. What is relevant is how solid this feels within the AI narrative, specifically for this bull run. The thing is, a lot of this tech, it's gonna take a whole lot of time to build. And this bull run, it's gonna be over before many of our favorite projects are fully built out as tech that you can just use. This means that perception is stronger than reality at this point in crypto. And I know that that's kind of sad to think about because like you wanna be able to just research what is the best company? What is the best technology? Who's gonna build the best thing? And then you'll just make your money that way. It's just not that way right now in crypto when it takes so long to build this and the, the tech isn't there in a lot of ways, but the narratives are, and there's people trading these things and they're betting on massive future outcomes. But you have to factor in the bull run. It might be frustrating, but it's the reality of how humans work. Again, psychology is so important here within crypto. So when you look at Flux, you see a serious project that investors will find easy to believe in. And if they believe in it, they'll invest in it. That's what's important for this bull run. Better yet, the market cap is only around $400 million. So it has a huge amount of room to grow. If you believe in the potential of this project, or you think it's gonna attract investment during a bull cycle, then just get in early. Do your research, of course, but then get in early, because this one could absolutely go to the moon. Theta Network, another AI project I'm looking at for this bull run, it's Theta Network. It's not my absolute favorite pick, like Flux or Render, but it's one to watch for sure. The price right now is sitting at about $2.89, which could be the beginning of a massive bull run pump. The project itself has some nice testimonials behind it from Google, from Sony. This gives it some nice, you know, beefy gravitas. The use case here is interesting. They're promising an entertainment-focused blockchain. I can see it attracting attention and at least matching its all-time high in the bull run. It's sitting at a $2.8 billion market cap, which is fine. There's still room to grow. This could be a nice one to get in now and see where it heads. I suppose, though, now would be a good time to talk about meme coins. You either love them or you hate them, but we have to talk about them. If you've had a watchful eye on the 
market for the last couple months, you've experienced at least one of these three things. First, you've been bombarded with the success stories all over social media, the edge cases showing people who made fortunes in a few weeks just trading meme coins. And you're probably like, what, seriously? This is still a thing and it's bigger than ever. Number two, you've probably wondered why meme coins are popping off so much right now when there are so many other projects with great use cases that deserve investments, you know, far more than a dog with a hat. Or third, you've given in and you've started trading dogs, cats, and special needs versions of political characters as a retirement strategy. The question is why, and will it keep going? I have some major thoughts on this. First, there's an economic reason behind this, believe it or not, behind meme coins. We talked about interest rates earlier, they're quite high. This means that there's less money being put into big coins from massive investors who are really moving the needle on those coins. But there's still the desire of small investors to get some action. And what can small investors reliably pump? Smaller tokens. And what's the easiest small tokens to understand and get behind? Meme coins. Love it or hate it, it's meme coins. They're simple, they're understandable. Beyond that, the meme coin surge, it's also societal. There's a looming sense in the world right now that things are a little bit hopeless. Politics are a mess, inflation means people can barely pay for their bills, almost no one under 35 can afford a house, flights are 3x what they used to cost, you can't even really like get out of town and you know, just put your head elsewhere for a week. I think that this feeling of hopelessness is directing some portion of energy into a feeling of screw it. Nothing works anymore. Let me just see if this special needs Joe Biden coin can make me rich. It's crazy, it's insane, but there's a hint of reality to it. And another component is technology. We briefly touched on this, but it's a fact of the matter that the most ambitious crypto projects with legit use cases are far from being fully functional. There aren't many huge payoffs right now, but you know what is paying off? Meme coins. So I guess the question is, will this keep happening? Will memes keep popping off? I think yes. Like most likely, yes. I would not be surprised whatsoever if meme coins are a driving factor for this entire bull market. Now, the tricky thing about meme coins is 80% of everything you know about regular crypto investing, you just need it. You need to take that information and you need to throw it out the window because it just doesn't work this is quite the same for meme investing. If you're wanting to trade these, you're better off studying human psychology above all else because that's what meme coins are. They're an assault on human psychology. So when you're trying to predict the next big meme coin, aim to check as many psychological boxes as possible. Things like, it's extremely simple to understand and even better if it's relatable. It has an ability to be liked by millions of people. It's easy to purchase, so there's very low friction. Like if a meme coin can get on an exchange, wow, easy to purchase, because a lot of them, they're on just like obscure you know, sites. You have to have a cold wallet. That, like the average investor, they're not going to go there. So if it's easy to purchase, even better. Is it in an environment where people have more money than cents, like Solana right now? Is it attached to a great narrative, like politics being a total mess? Does it have a strong community of supporters, like the snake coin? Is it safe from scams? Does it have past results? Meaning, are there people that you can point to that have already made money. This elicits FOMO and it's one of the biggest drivers in meme coin success. You wanna see those screenshots of people going like, I turned $10,000 into a million dollars because that just means pi people pile onto that meme coin. So which meme coin do I like right now? I have a few that I'm keeping my eye on. Snake, it's a funny one. It's on the Cardano blockchain. Excellent name, gotta hand it to them there. Their market cap is relatively small at $100 million. They're kind of the first real meme coin on Cardano to take off. If they truly do take off, we'll see many more pop up and they'll be the first to do it, which would just mean more money goes to them. So that could be quite the opportunity. They have an extremely strong community of supporters. I mean, I tweeted about Cardano needing some more meme coins. Eh, well, just look at the replies. It's ridiculous. Their community is kind of ridiculous. Another one is cock in you, cock in you. I haven't purchased this one, but personally, I think it's kind of funny. You can figure out why I think it's funny on your own. I bet your mom knows. But price-wise, it's pretty cheap as a relatively small market cap of $307 million. Once the bull run works its way through narratives though, like gaming and AI, this is the kind of meme coin that I can see hitting because people are gonna have, they're gonna be flush with cash. They're gonna be like, what can I just throw money into? That's kind of funny. That's an option. I would not put a coin like this as a big bet on making money though. But if you're diversified across medium caps, you know, then throwing a little bit of money that you're willing to lose into a meme coin like cock in you, that could provide 
some return as a wild card bet. It's unlikely to do doge numbers, but it has some potential. Megatrump is another one. Love him or hate him, this meme coin is kind of popping off. Right now it's sitting at $6.04 after falling from around 10 bucks, but it has potential to go much higher. But why? Well, it's built around a literal meme narrative that has been product tested in real life to be successful. This meme narrative, Trump, got a guy into the White House. So it got half of America to go, yeah, I like that. And now he's running again. Crypto has always been shown to be super receptive to real world events, you know, like an Elon tweet. The more Trump makes headlines and works his way towards the presidency, the more he just has like outrageous clips that are like low key hilarious, the more I can see this meme coin pumping, especially during a bull market. Every action he takes will be more and more fuel to whatever the biggest, Trump related meme coin is. It's at $254 million market cap right now. It's fairly small. There's room to get bigger and bigger, but to see the most returns, you know, the big 10X life-changing pumps here, he'll have to get reelected. So there are a lot of balls in the air with this one. I don't know, it's up to you. I'm, meme coins are insane. People are into them. I have to talk about them. That said, if you're betting on him winning, then grab this coin by the Now enough about memes, because we need to talk about more coins that I love within a narrative I love. Crypto gaming. Crypto gaming could be a trillion dollar industry, seriously. We could go all sci-fi thinking here and picture some future world of abundance where you know AI takes over and no one needs to work anymore to pay their bills. Maybe money doesn't even exist. If money doesn't exist, the desire for status in humans will still exist. So I wouldn't be surprised in a sci-fi scenario like that if sports and gaming just gets more and more popular as a way, as a space for people to get more status. It's basically already happening. Like look at esports. That's a way to get status as a Get really good at video games, but that could just get so much more extreme. We're a ways away from that happening, but the question is, what can perform well in 2024? Well, there's many of the common strong choices that will benefit from a gaming surge. You know, projects that I've already talked about that I'd like, Ronin, Immutable X, the Avalanche blockchain is one of the safer bets within gaming. Off the Grid is a game that I like. Those could all do major numbers in this next run. Let me know if you think I'm missing any crypto games in the comments. But another project worth checking out within the gaming narrative is Echelon Prime. I'm still debating this one, so tell me what you think about it. On paper, this looks like it could keep growing. It hasn't broken a billion dollar market cap yet, it's gone from $3 to $27 though since last year, and it makes a whole bunch of promises regarding its games. There's a lot of hype here, but to me, what I can see doesn't look like that fun, which for games, fun is a pretty big deal. And something about this whole project, it kind of sets my spidey senses tingling a little bit, especially when you compare its presentation to a more transparent project like Render. Tell me what your thoughts are on that one. Now to make the most of your altcoin research, you wanna utilize tools to make things faster. They'll make your life easier and it'll help you figure out what your best plays are. One of my favorite tools, which I showed earlier, is the Altcoin Season Index. It's a simple way to gauge how the altcoin market is doing as a whole. For the market to qualify as being in altcoin season, 75% of the top 50 coins need to perform better than Bitcoin. Another tool is Arkham Computer. This lets you find wallets and see the trading activity within those wallets. If there's a specific person or wallet that you wanna look into, this will help you get greater insight into the plays that they're making. Alongside this, you can use DropStab. This will show you what's in the wallets of investors and VCs, how well they're diversified, where their capital is actually allocated. A warning though here, that's important information, but a warning, while this seems super useful, these guys are big players with access to information that you know us mortals just don't have. So don't read into their choices too much, it's just something to keep an eye on. Okay, I promised it, let's do it. Here's the foolproof 10 step process to make money in crypto and find those gems. There's no one way to make money in an industry as insane bonkers as crypto, but this 10 step process makes your life a whole lot easier. Number one, look for projects that fit a narrative that people are actually interested in. If people are interested in a category like gaming or AI, those projects will simply attract high volume investment. They just require less thinking. Number two, look for projects with price action that inspire investor confidence. Same as above, less thinking equals more money equals your investment will do better. Number three, Look for projects on reliable exchanges that will flood during bull runs. This is where the money is going to be exchanged, especially from new investors. So make sure your favorite project is on an exchange and easily purchasable. Think about friction. If you buy some altcoin that you think is absolutely gonna pop off, but it's only available on some obscure swapping website, it's not going to pop off in the way you think it's going to because normie investors, they're not gonna go there to buy the thing. It has to be on 
a place where it's easy to purchase, where it's low friction. Number four, look for projects with backing from reputable companies. This will inspire more investor confidence. If there's that name recognition attached to a project, it's just more worth talking about. You can justify that investment a little bit more. That's where especially new investors are gonna head. Number five, look for projects with transparent teams. People trust transparency. People love to see faces. People love to know who to blame when something goes wrong and who to celebrate when something goes right. This inspires confidence in your investors. Number six, look for projects that just make sense. If anyone can understand it, anyone will invest in it. That's a good thing. Look for projects that solve a problem, ideally a money-based problem, a problem where they can go, if we can solve this, we will save people this much money. Or if we can solve this, we can make people this much money. If it just makes sense, it's a better investment. Number seven, look for projects that survive your anti-scam due diligence. This one is obvious. This should be the first thing you do always. Use the tools and the methods that I outlined earlier. Grab that checklist in the description. Number eight, don't trade money that you can't afford to lose. Obvious, if you can't afford to lose it, you're more likely to become irrational and make bad decisions. You're not here to pay your next month's rent with a crypto trade. Just, just be smart, just please be smart. Number nine, beware of your own greed and your own FOMO. They've robbed more people of money than any rug pull in history. Don't let them rob you too. That means if there are profits and you're like, man, those profits would be nice to have, take the profits. Don't fall into FOMO just because someone else, you know, made some money and you're like, oh, the price is going crazy. I should buy some too. Try to be as rational as possible. Number 10, have an exit strategy and take profits. Without an exit strategy, you just become someone else's liquidity. Don't ever be someone else's profits if you can avoid it. If you follow these 10 steps, you're in a much better position to make money. I hope this helps. Click that subscribe button. See you next time.